This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic, that is stock determination. Okay, so the the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is stock determination, stock determination overview, triggering stock determination during goods issued stock transfer, how to trigger the stock determination process during goods issued stock transfer, we will see settings for stock determination to to have the function stock determination what are the settings we need to do in the system we will understand then what is stock determination group and stock determination group so these are the topics we will be covering in the stock determination okay so first we'll start with what is stock determination okay so with stock determination with stock determination, you can use strategies based on the specified customized settings for material withdrawal of goods issues and stock transfers. So basically, in the stock determination, you make some settings so that during goods issue or stock transfer, you can have some logic, some predefined criteria. Okay, so like to automatically determine the storage location, and the stock type you can use stock determination function so basically during goods issue or stock transfers you want system to determine the storage location automatically and the stock type so for that you will use stock determination okay let me let me explain you with a simple example okay suppose let's say you have a material okay, material bbc123 okay this material is present in let's say three storage locations storage location one storage location two storage location three okay. now let's say you have some stock total stock okay let's say total stock let's say is let's say 100 okay. and in the storage location let's say one storage location you one, let's say you have 20 storage location 2 let's say you have 50 and storage location 3 let's say you have 30. so now let's say there is a requirement for uh, 10 there is a requirement for 10 quantity this is the total stock let's say 100 pieces and there is a requirement for 10 pieces now you want whenever you want to do goods issue whenever you want to do goods issue you want always first system to pick the stock from storage location 3 this is my system should uh, try to issue the stocks from this storage location 3 first priority after that i want system to issue the stocks from the storage location 1 second priority and storage location 2 third priority if system has to propose like this by default then you will be using the stock determination stock determination so system only will select storage locations automatically it will determine the storage locations automatically okay based on the created material demand the system determines the sequence of the storage locations and stocks from which the desired material is to be withdrawn and also along with story locations you have some stock type so normally we have only during the goods issue we can issue only two one is good stock unrestricted use stock unrestricted use stock another one is consignment stock consignment stock so which one you want to use first priority so either storage locations and the stock types so which one system has to determine that is configured by the stock determination okay so let's continue you can use stock determination in various application components such as inventory management sales and distribution and shipping so the stock determination is used in various applications not only in mm it can be used in sd delivery it can be used in pp kanban production orders material stagings repetitive manufacturing it, it is it can be used in wm also okay but our discussion is limited only 
to our MM inventory management. So the stock determination can be used in various other applications also. Okay, but we will be discussing today only from inventory management perspective. Inventory management perspective. Okay. So let's continue. First, we will understand calling stock determination. How to trigger the stock determination? So let's see. So in the in the Migo transaction, when you do goods issue, let's say take for example goods issue. So when you do goods issue, you enter all the information, you enter the material, quantity, all those things, movement type, plant, everything. Once you enter, you will find a button called stock determination. You will find this button. Okay. So when you click on this button, system will automatically do the stock determination. So what system does is here if you see there is no story location there is no story location the moment you click on the button the moment you click on the button button based on the settings you make like stock determination group i will i will i will explain all these things shortly in a minute and the stock determination rule once all all these design settings are available then system will propose story locations automatically okay so here the quantity is 400 quantity is 400 and based on the settings you make it in the system system will propose the story locations see here if you see total quantity is 400 but according to story locations it proposes the quantities you see it has proposed the quantities okay and also stock type here you see now blank means unrestricted use here consignment stock also it has proposed so to do have these all these these things you need to you need to have stock determination settings in the system so first i will show you the triggering the stock determination okay then we will go to the design part okay. so let me go to the system let me log in again I have logged on to the system. Okay. Okay. So first let me take a material or let me open the configuration in one screen. Okay, let this be let it be. I'll open one more session. I'll take a material. I mean, I'm just taking the one of the existing materials in the system. Our plant is triple zero one or OH. So there is a material already I have created. This one, this is a metal 73. Okay. I will show you the stock situation. So let me go to MMB stock overview. MMB. Okay. To enter the material. This is the plant. Exit. Now, if you see this material in this plant triple zero one, it is available in three story locations: RM01, RM02, RM03 stock in each each story location is 100 you see here it is 100 so now let me let me just do a goods issue me go i'll do the me go i am i'm selecting goods issue other and the movement type is 201 okay now here i'll enter the material what is the material code 73 right 73 enter quantity let's say i'll put 120 enter go to where i'll enter the plant only okay. now observe carefully now i have entered only the quantity required quantity we are going to issue story locations i have not entered okay and the movement type is 201 now if you click to have the stop determination you need to click on this button you see here the button is stop determination click on it see what system has done system has proposed the story locations first 100 quantities it proposed rm02 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 why why it has not proposed first rm01 that is because of the settings we will i will show you the settings so first it proposed rm02 story location and then the remaining quantity 20 it proposed rm01 so this is how you will trigger the stock data in the 
during the good season.